my name is Anthony Sansada. I've uh, worked for Saul since 1980. And working with me on this project are Nobuto Suga, Andy Colbert, and Chip Allen. This piece is the establishment of a visual vocabulary for Saul. Two port combinations of arcs from four corners, arcs from the midpoints, and straight, not straight, and broken lines. You first have to start with a space. In the case here at the museum, we use three walls, and you need to create a grid that's basically in the neighborhood of 36 inches square. And you start by going through the vocabulary, combining them so that when arc number one is designated, you run that through the whole gamut of types of arcs and lines. You then go to arc number two and combine it with the remaining 18 so on and so forth. So you wind up with 190 boxes for which these combinations can fit into. Each combination in each square is unique. These were originally done in chalk. Saul liked to work with sort of traditional drawing materials. We switched over to using a water-soluble crayon, which basically gave the same kind of effect as the chalk and was not so dusty. We sort of shaved them down to get a point. The key is just going to give everybody the alphabet, so to speak, kind of miniature a floor plan of the space itself, and then just the numerical combinations. It, it really takes a life of its own depending upon what size space you have to work with. This has an official title. I generally refer to it as arcs and lines. <laughs>